Welcome to the new regulations.gov, where the public can participate in federal rulemaking with a modernized user interface, improved search engine, standardized comment form, and so much more. Today, I will show you three things. First, how to search for terms you care about. Second, how to comment. And third, how to read other people's comments. Okay, let's search for a docket or document using the word health. We've made it easier to get to the documents and comments you're looking for. Search results are categorized by dockets, documents, and comments, so you can easily navigate and find what you need. Filters are now specific to each of the tabs, allowing you to narrow down search results based on specific criteria. Let's filter down these results. Check the box, Only Show Documents Open for Comment, on the left. Then, scroll down to find a list of agencies on the left, and select the one that you want. I will use the Internal Revenue Service as an example. The result is now only IRS documents that are open for comment. Look through and then let's click on the document title to make sure it's the one you want. We are now on the document page to see more details, shown on the left. Details include the closing date for comments, Code of Federal Regulations numbers, and more. If you scroll to the bottom, you can download the Federal Register Notice. Now, if you would like to comment on the document, look at the upper left corner of the blue box and click Comment. Type in your comment and make an attachment if you want. Entering your email is optional. You can upload a single file with multiple comments and confirm the number of submissions. By the way, we've standardized the comment form across the agencies, providing a consistent user experience while still allowing for anonymous comments. After you submit, a tracking number will be on the confirmation page, which will help you find your comment after agencies post here. Finally, I'll show you how to search for comments on a document from a certain agency. Let's go back and search on Sesame Allergens. Then scroll down to select FDA. This time, let's leave Open for Comments deselected. Let's take a look at some draft guidance regarding the voluntary disclosure of sesame allergens. If a document has received comments and the agency has posted the comments to the regulations.gov for public viewing, you will see a tab at the top of the browse for comments. That allows for further searching within the document, together with a comment count. Click on the tab Browse Comments. There are 669 comments here. You can go to any comments by clicking on the title. Let's look at the first comment. Usually the comments are in a short text box, but longer ones may be in an attachment. To get back to the document, you can click on the document ID just under the REGS logo. Now that you have read comments in a particular document, you might be interested in reading their documents within the same docket. To quickly do that, click on View More Documents, or select the docket ID under the REGS logo. We can see a related document under the same docket by navigating to the Browse and Comment on Documents. Let's choose another document under this docket. You can repeat the same process to comment or view other people's comments. Please note that while anyone can comment, not every comment is publicly posted. Agencies have the discretion to determine which comments are posted to regulations.gov. Thank you for watching.